gamers, a few weeks ago, I remade Minecraft mobs into characters from the amazing Digital Circus. And today, I'm gonna remake even more Minecraft mobs into the rest of the characters. Before we do this, make sure to go down below and tap that sub button. Just give it a little boop. Now, let's get into the video. We're gonna start off with the most requested character, and that is Zubal. And since Zubal has long limbs, we're actually gonna use the Enderman. The first thing we're gonna do is shorten the torso and duplicate the head. And after duplicating the head over and over, I turned it into a triangle. Next, we're gonna have to make the two points on top of Zubal's head. Then I finished the right arm with the big claw at the end. And after finally finishing the other arms and legs, it was time to texture Zubal. Zubal was definitely the most tedious character to create with all the different limbs, but I think in the end it was worth it. And after all the coloring was done, I added a little bit more texture to the color to add the finishing touch. So this is what Zubal looks like in Minecraft. And I gotta say, Zubal's model and texture look so awesome. I just can't believe Zubal's actually in Minecraft. Now, just like the show when Zubal's head gets taken, I wanted to kind of add this into Minecraft. So if you end up killing Zubal, you don't actually kill Zubal, you just take Zubal's head, and you can see Zubal's just blinking away there in my hand. This is this is kind of scary. This is what Zubal looks like with some of the circus members, like Pomni, and Zubal is way bigger than I thought she'd be. Just look at Zubal next to this pig. I'm gonna rate Zubal a 9 out of 10, because the model of Zubal just stays so true to the actual show. The next character we're gonna make is the giant Gloink Queen, and we're gonna use an Endermite, because the Endermite moves like a snake. Now in the show, the Gloink Queen is massive, so we're gonna have to make the Endermite bigger. I first started by making the Gloink Queen's jaw, and then I duplicated that to make a full mouth. After I finished the body, I realized I have to make another mouth because the Gloink Queen actually has two sides. After making the second head, it was now time to stick them together and start making the textures. For the eyes, I added cubes to each side, and after they were all placed, I painted them all white and gave them black pupils. Oh, that kind of looks creepy. Once I had filled in the Gloink Queen's mouth and added the blue line all across the body, it was then time to make an idle animation where the Gloink's Queen mouth would slowly move up and down and open and close. This is what the Gloink Queen looks like in Minecraft, and they are huge. This is a piggy, and this is the Gloink Queen. Oh, it's so big. I think the idle animation turned out pretty well. It does work well with the Gloink Queen, since the Gloink Queen clearly eats things in the show. Especially Zubal. Uh, guys, I think the Gloink Queen's trying to eat me. I'm gonna give the Gloink Queen a 7.5 out of 10, because even though the Gloink Queen looks true to the show and very cool, I think the movement could be a little bit better. Next up are the Gloinks, and I want to make three different types of these Gloinks, because how can we have a Gloink Queen without the Gloinks? We're gonna use a parrot for the Gloinks because of how small they actually are. We're gonna get rid of the head. And as we're starting with the cube Gloink, I'm gonna turn the parrot into a giant Bruh. cube. Then it was time to add some color. After adding the color to the eyes and the mouth, this was the final texture. Now, since the gloinks actually roll around the place, I had to animate a rolling animation for when the gloinks walk. And also to spice things up, I added an idle animation where the gloink kind of looks like it's breathing. And after adding final touches to the texture, this is what the gloink looked like in Minecraft. Look at them go! It looks like the gloinks have escaped the digital circus and they're now rolling their way into Minecraft. Now it's time for the star gloink, and we're still gonna use the parrot and copy and paste the face over. Next, I've got to assemble all five points of the Gloink star. Then we're gonna add a little bit of a purpley color. Finish the eyes like that. And to finish off the color, I added some texture. Next up, I added another breathing animation for the star Gloink. And obviously, this Gloink had to roll as well. So I added a rolling walk animation for this Gloink too. And this is what the purple star Gloink looks like in Minecraft. Look at this little guy go. And now the star Gloinks have taken over Minecraft as well. Oh dear. I then spawned in a lot of the cube Gloinks to mix them all together to make it feel more true to the show. And now the canes here. This actually looks really cool and true to the show, but I think we're still missing out one more gloink. And that gloink is the triangle gloink. Yeah! Although making a triangle in Minecraft is very tedious, I got there in the end. Since the last two gloink walking animations looked a bit strange since they were walking forward but rolling to the side, I wanted to make sure that the triangle gloink walked normally and rolled in the right direction. So after nailing the triangle gloink animation, this is what the triangle gloink looked like in Minecraft, and it actually rolled normally this time. So then I did the next logical thing and spawned in an army of triangle gloinks. And of course, to be true to the show, I had to mix them all together. So here are all the gloinks in Minecraft, and now I'm gonna have to go catch them all. I'm gonna give the gloinks an 8 out of 10, because even though they're pretty small, there's a lot of variety, and they walk pretty funny. Zubo, you can catch all the gloinks. I got more characters to make. Yep. 
Yep, you just, you deal with these guys. In the last episode, I made Kofmo when he was abstracted. But what if I made Kofmo non-abstracted? For Kofmo, we're gonna use a Wandering Trader simply because the Wandering Trader already has a hat. We won't be needing your arms, buddy. From what we know of Kofmo already, Kofmo had pretty long arms, so I'm gonna change the villagers' arms and make them just look better. Next, I made Kofmo's cool hat. After precisely trying to make Kofmo's four fingers, it was now time to color in Kofmo. And after finally deciding on a face that I like, this was Kofmo's final design with a little bit more texture on the color. After finishing all of the textures, it was now time to give Kofmo a breathing idle animation and also a walking animation for when Kofmo needs to walk. This is what non-abstracted Kofmo looks like in Minecraft and he's looking pretty happy to be here. And their walking animation is really silly, but I think that fits their theme because they are a clown. Something about this doesn't feel right. I'm gonna give Kofmo a 7 out of 10 because even though the animations are fire, Kofmo still looks really, really goofy. This now means that all of the main circus characters are actually finally done, which is pretty cool. But now we can move on to some more side characters. Next up was the moon. And we're gonna use the wither for the moon because just like the moon, the wither floats. First, we're gonna take the wither, flatten the wither down and create a moon shape. Then I removed the texture and started making the moon's ellipse because how else is the moon gonna talk to Kane? I had eye drop tool the color of the moon from the amazing digital circus and took this over into block bench and colored the moon the exact same color. Then I had to draw the perfect eye, which was really difficult to do, but in the end, I I think I got it. Finally, for the color, I added some texture and the moon texture was done. Since the moon does float, I wanted to add idle animation where the moon would just float up and down. And this is what the moon looks like in Minecraft, and I gotta be honest, it's not the most fleshed out model in Minecraft, but there's not really much I could do with the moon since the moon is literally just a 2D moon in the show. This is what an army of moon looks like if they, uh, if they start chasing you, and this is probably most definitely a bad idea, but oh no. Ah! <laughs> It's an army of moons. I feel like Kane right now. And this is what Kane looks like with all of his lovebirds. Oh, look at them go. They look so happy together. Kane, blink three times if you need help. I'm gonna give the moon a six out of ten. Not the most fleshed out model, but again, it Bruh. does work. Since we've now made the moon, let's also make the sun because you can't have the moon without the sun. Because the wither worked so well for the moon, we're gonna use the wither again and let's flatten out this wither for the second time. Once the wither was flattened out, I removed the textures and started modeling the spikes for the sun. Once all of the spikes were done for the sun, it was now now time for the hardest part, to create the texture for the sun. I had finally decided on the perfect face that I thought fit the sun perfectly. Just like the moon, I added an idle animation for the sun where the sun would float up and down. And this is what the sun looks like in Minecraft. And I gotta say, I think I prefer this over the moon. Look at him go. Obviously, just like the moon, if you attack the sun, the sun will not be happy and it will stop. This was again a bad idea. I then spawned in the sun, the moon and Kane all together. And as a trio, they look fantastic. Although I wouldn't recommend attacking them because they're all going to start floating towards you like this. Uh-oh. Uh, guys, please help. I'm going to give the sun a 6.5 out of 10. Not the best, but not the worst. So I've dug deeper into the show to try and find more characters to create, like this female Kinger on the door. So I thought, let's give it a go. Lucky for me, I already had the model for Kinger, so we're going to reuse this model, and all I got to do is add these eyelashes. And after all of the texture was finally done, I wanted to add some animations. Now, in the show, there is a part where Kinger just starts to glitch out and I wanted to add this for this female king of counterpart because I missed that in the last video. This is what the animation looks like in full. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Uh... uh. And then it goes back to a nice breathing animation. And as soon as I try to place this female king out... Yep. My, my game crashed. This is a sad moment, gamers, but I think in the end, I have created every single important character from the Amazing Digital Circus. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to soup. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.